hello everyone welcome back so today i have a pick a card for you guys this one is an elemental pick a card for the month of may so we have fire earth water and air i would suggest that you watch your uh your sun sign your moon sign and your rising sign so you can get a picture a whole or a more clear picture of what your month will look like so again all the timestamps will be pinned in the comment section all my information is always in the description box below so let's get started with with my fire signs okay so um we have here aries leo sagittarius so let's see So let's see for my fire signs again aries leo sagittarius sun moon or rising venus or mars okay so we have fire let's see what's going on with you guys for the month of may i'm hearing i'm hearing very much in your element i'm hearing you're going to be feeling good you're going to be feeling like you can finally move forward with something i feel like something has been stopped or there was like you were stuck in a rut kind of energy here and i feel like you're gonna see forward yeah you're gonna see like there's a light within you that's being sparked in the month of may and i do feel like some of you have been waiting kind of in the background waiting for the right time sensing something looking at something kind of hiding behind the bushes if you will here and i'm kind of getting like you're taking your chance in the month of May for many of you. And this does feel around career. It does feel also around like job. There's something here like tangible. Okay. I feel like for a lot of you, you will be cutting away certain things from your life, whether this is people, situations. Okay. They're showing me scissors and scissors usually means like snip, snip. You're cutting something out. For a lot of you, what you're cutting out is uh, like a ten of wands kind of energy. So a lot of you have been carrying a lot of burdens uh, from the month of April. And I feel like in May, you're releasing them. For a lot of you, I also feel that um, you are also ending a cycle and you're starting a new cycle in the month of May. And you feel, again, refreshed very much like, okay, I'm ready type of ace of wands energy here where you're moving forward and you're like, okay, I'm embarking on something new. I'm moving in a new direction and I feel good about this, okay? Because I feel like, again, you kind of been, I know my fire signs really like like just being out there socializing and stuff. And for you guys, I feel like you guys have been hiding or restricted in some way like really out of your element and i do feel like the month of may is going to feel very different you're going to feel like you got your mojo back okay so let's see fire magic so yes a lot of you will be definitely in your element here okay so for a lot of you you have been you know doing magic spells or candle work or you know setting intentions and i feel like again there's something that you're like there's something that you've been looking at that you've been wanting to kind of manifest or, you know, attract into your life. And I do feel like you are exploring that you are going in that direction. OK, for a lot of you, like I said, you feel like you're ready to come out. You're ready to 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 pursue something different because I feel like you've been like this little ge gecko here where it's kind of been in the background. It's been you know blending in haven't been out much and i feel like may is going to be totally different for you guys healing yeah i feel like for a lot of you in the month of april you were healing you were taking some time to kind of center yourself or ground your energy or there was something that you were kind of doing behind the scenes here and i feel like it was also mostly because of healing so things were very overwhelming for you or you just needed like that time away and i do feel like in the month of may you're ready you're feeling like you're ready to move forward you're feeling healed you're very much connecting more with family now i feel as well with the two sixes i feel like also you're feeling more curious okay and it's interesting because we have the cat here which i do associate with leo so for a lot of you you're feeling more curious you're not you're you're like okay you know i got this kind of energy 
yeah you're feeling more balanced in the month of may there is more balance coming into your life you're more willing to help i'm hearing or to put yourself out there in some way also here yeah a new path yeah i feel like there's a sense of renewal it's like you guys went through a rebirth process for a lot of you okay i feel like if you are a fire sign you you were illuminated you were guided to kind of retreat to look at something to heal something in order for you to embark on this new path on this new journey for you in the month of may and i feel like again there's going to be a lot of guidance there's going to be i feel like wherever it is that you're guided to go it's a lot better than where you are yeah nine of pentacles you're looking good you got your coin so good financially feeling good feeling independent feeling like you know what i have everything that i need and a little bit more so my fire signs will be doing really good financially in the month of may okay again for a lot of you you will be in a position to help others in the month of may Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. So like I said, there is major change coming in for my fire signs. Again, this this thing that I said in the channeled information about the wheel. The wheel has shifted for my fire signs. And you guys are seeing this. And you guys are entering into a period of more abundance and financial freedom. And just feeling very good about who you are and what you do. Because again, I do feel like May and March even may have been months that were very much about you being introverted and just like isolating and kind of healing yourself and i feel like in may the wheel has turned and you're moving in a new direction but it's also because you found balance within yourself here my fire signs yeah i do feel like there's still going to be some challenges there's still going to be certain things certain obstacles that you are going to have to deal with but i do feel here for you guys my fire signs is that you're going to overcome this okay Things are going to work out one way or another. You have luck. You have Jupiter blessing you in the month of May and is bringing in opportunities to make money, opportunities for you to feel secure and to expand, especially in regards to your career and your financial situation. Yeah, there might be a lot of if you're a business owner with the nine of pentacles, if you're a business owner, just know that the wheel is about to turn. And there's going to be a lot of demand being put on you. Okay, it might feel like you might need to kind of detach for a little bit to heal or to gather yourself, but then you're going to go at it again. For the month of May, again, there's a lot of good things coming in, but there's still this energy of instability here. But it's because it's good things like everything has shifted very fast. If you're looking for a reconciliation, I do see that happening in the month of May for many of you. Again, you're in your element, sun here. Leo, I don't know. I haven't looked at the astrology for the month, so I don't, I'm not sure if there's anything going on with my fire signs. But I feel like you're very much in this like prana energy. You're just feeling very, very aware, very enlightened. Um, you're shining, you're feeling like very self-sufficient here with the nine of pentacles. Um, you're expressing yourself, you're shining bright with the sun. With sun and Jupiter shining down on you, it's like endless possibilities for my fire signs in the month of May. If you've been wanting change, change is coming. I feel like you're no longer getting distracted either. I feel like it's just like you've been sparked. Like there's just energy that's coming in out of nowhere. Yeah, your visions. You're a visionary as it is my fire signs, right? So I feel like for some of you, there's this vision. There's, there's something that you've been focusing on that you've been, again, maybe contemplating during this alone time that you took. And I feel like you're bringing this vision into reality. And Jupiter is definitely backing you up on this. And whatever this is, is bringing in a lot of financial gain for you. Okay, and you are meant to go down this path. Yeah, and I feel like because spirit feels here for my fire signs that you're not doing it out of greed, Jupiter is just blessing you. Because I feel like you're not doing this out of personal gain. Because I'm hearing if this was out of personal gain, you would have... I feel like this is a product because if I'm just hearing you would have charged more for it. 
and you're doing it just because you're wanting to help and expand either your community or the people, your clientele, or just the people around you here. But definitely change of a cycle going on here. Accepting that something has come to an end and it's time to kind of turn the page here. Uh, there is, a, a, like I said, a new path here for many of you, whatever this path is for some of you is in regards to healing. For others of you, it could be in regards to the justice system. There's something going on in your favor. The revolutionary, yeah. You're you're gonna you're gonna set out to do something big in the month of May for my fire signs. Okay. For a lot of you, you're stepping back into that leadership position. And the reason why I'm saying stepping back in is because I feel like you've been again behind the bushes. You kind of been observing. Been observing or maybe working behind the scenes, but I feel like okay, May, I'm back. Here I am. Watch me. Watch me do what I'm going to do. And my fire signs are going to do something big the month of May. Again, financial concerns, none. Okay, nine of pentacles. You have more than enough. You're feeling good. Good karma is coming in with the justice as well. If you're wanting a reconciliation with another fire or with an air sign justice there, Libra. I see that happening or with an earth sign, okay? Or with the Sagittarius, with the Wheel of Fortune. But there's a lot of expansion and a lot of growth. And I feel like it is going to take a little bit of courage from you guys to go down this path that you're being guided on. You might be a little bit hesitant, but with the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Pentacles, this is a blessed change. It's a blessed new path for you guys. It's something that you've been envisioning. And it's interesting that they're both holding something in their hand. So it's like spirit is handing you something in the month of May. So that is what I have for you guys. And now I'm going to move to my earth signs. So have a lovely May, you guys. So for those of you who are my earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising for the month of May. Let's see. What's the energy for you guys? Healing waters. Very interesting. Everybody's getting a little bit of healing energy here. So I feel like you guys are going to be able to, you guys are going to have to think on your feet with the fox here. Make sure you're drinking a lot of water during the month of May. Make sure you're keeping yourself hydrated. Yeah, because it feels to me like things have been dry here. I'm watching this. Things have been dry. I'm hearing they haven't been as prosperous as you would have liked them to. But I'm hearing you're seeing glimpses of prosperity. Of life coming in for you guys in the month of May. personal growth okay so my earth signs you guys have been on this journey of personal growth and i do feel like you're still on it in the month of may okay you guys might have been facing a lot of challenges a lot of scarcity for some of you not for all of you but for some of you um for some of you have been asked to think on your feet to use your wittiness okay to maneuver the change or the dry spells if you will but I feel like spirit is finally blessing you with water, with, with something good, right? There's blessings coming in. For a lot of you, again, personal growth. You've been on this journey of soul growth, like life lessons here. Saturn has been teaching you. Wow, that was completely channeled. Saturn has been teaching you where you need to grow. What is not working for you? For a lot of you in May, you will be thinking about going back to school or you're picking up on something new, a new skill, a new talent. You might be expanding it. You might be doing research. Okay, you might be joining a class, a seminar. And I feel like it will be very beneficial for you. It will help you grow. Yeah, you're seeking out knowledge. Okay, you're seeking out knowledge because you feel like you're lacking knowledge in something. And so you are, you know going after that and that's going to make you very confident 
I feel like for a lot of you, you're going to be feeling very ambitious for my earth signs in the month of May. So like I said, for a lot of you, you're going to be polishing those skills. You're going to be polishing your resume, I'm hearing as well. For a lot of you, you might be thinking about, like I said, taking a course, learning something new. For a lot of you, you're going to be feeling very good, like very confident about what you have learned. <clears throat> Two of Wands, a new sense of direction, having to make a choice. And Temperance. So a lot of healing. I feel like May, May you're going to have to make a choice. And I feel like here Spirit is saying, take your time with that choice. Okay, Temperance is all about you know patience moderation not doing anything in extreme keeping the balance keeping the peace but i feel like you're being enlightened in some way here with the temperance card in the month of may there's a lot of healing happening as well with temperance there's a lot of angelic help along the way for you in the month of may for some of you you're making a decision about a sagittarius in your life you know, whether you let them in or not. If that's the case, I do feel like this person has grown. Okay, I do feel like this person has grown. Like this person has gone through major life lessons. And you have too, I feel. For a lot of you in the month of May, I feel like you're trying to figure out two things here. How to make them work. How do I make this to things work for me and you might have to go back to school you might have to adopt a beginner's mind here for a lot of you yeah you're stepping into your destiny again soul school there's something here with schooling whatever it is that you have been going through or whatever you're going to be going through in the month of may because it does feel like you're still growing you're still expanding whatever it is whatever choices you are making they're all leading you to your destiny where you need to be in life and spirit also wants you to know regardless of where you are in your journey in the month of may you are blo you are blossoming you are blooming and you are becoming who you're meant to be in this lifetime and to remember that life is a process and i feel like that's a major lesson that my earth signs have been learning and will be also learning in the month of may that not every flower blooms at the same time and that everything is a process. Everything takes time and everything is a learning curve. I feel like you guys are on the learning curve. That's the thing. For a lot of you, you're seeking development in something. You're wanting to develop something. Saturn. That's why I channeled Saturn energy. I was like, why did I get Saturn? So for a lot of you, you're, you're being asked to be more disciplined. Spirit is saying, if you want to achieve something, you have to be disciplined. You have to commit. Saturn is not going to give you anything just like that. It's not Jupiter. Saturn is the planet of structure, of responsibility, of karma. Saturn tells you, depending on how much you put into something, that's how much I'm going to reward you. Think of it as a parent. You know, Saturn is that parent of like, you know, well, you have to do your chores before you get your allowance type of thing. And for a lot of you, you're getting like, I'm hearing a reality check in something, in some aspect of your life, whether this is in your career, in your schooling situation. It's like Saturn is bringing you back to reality. This feels kind of like a hard month to, to kind of, you know, to get through for my earth signs but i do feel like it's going to be huge for your growth and for your destiny because ultimately saturn is aligning you to where you need to be that's why we have saturn return because i feel like you've been slacking off in something and saturn is coming in to show you where you're been, where you've been slacking off and let me tell you if you've been doing the work and you're like no jj i've been putting in the work i haven't been slacking off i've been doing what i needed to do and you honestly tell yourself like I've been good. I've been putting those extra hours. I've been doing everything that I've, you know, that has been required of me. Or I, I've given it my 100th. And just know that Saturn is about to bless you. Saturn is going to pour everything in for you. Because Saturn sees everything. And if you work really hard, Saturn will give you long-term 
happiness, right? Long-term success. But not without working your booty off first. But again, you're learning something here about timing, divine timing. For a lot of you, you're going back to basics, okay? For a lot of you, you're going to be going through several tests or several like restraints to see how you handle them. Yeah, the alchemist, that's temperance here. Turning, turning stone into gold type of energy here. That's the lesson for you guys in May. Is how do you turn your difficulties into your favor? Remember that fox energy. You are the alchemist. You are the fox. You're able to transform anything into gold. And that's what Saturn wants to show you. And I feel like in the month of May, you're going to see that. But also it's going to show you where have you been mis misusing your, your power in a way. Or your time. Or your resources. For a lot of you in regards to the body. Saturn rules the bones and the teeth, right? Yeah, it's also, I feel for a lot of you, there's going to be this sense of like, are, have you been following the signs for my earth signs? You know, ha have you, do you trust in your own sense of timing? Do Are you trusting your vision? Because I'm getting here for you guys in the month of May, you've been getting, you've been getting, you will be getting, but I feel like you've been getting too a lot of repetitive signs. But here Saturn is pushing you. And also there's an, there's an energy here that I'm picking up. If someone has trespassed your sacred, your sacred um, boundaries, so to speak, they're going to receive their karma. I don't know who that is for, but that's coming through. So I'm going to give it to you guys. So again, it feels like a like a challenging month for my earth signs, but I know you guys are very good and you guys are going to do just fine, but it is a learning curve for you guys. It is a month of a lot of growth and transformation. Again, if you've been doing good things, good things are coming to you in the month of May. If you have been slacking off, if you have been procrastinating, well, Saturn is going to teach you why you shouldn't have done that, right? And that just means like you're just going to feel like, oh man, I should have just done that project or gone taking that class or something like that. Okay. So that is what I have for you guys. Now I'm going to move to option number uh, three, which is my water signs. Have a lovely May, you guys. So for my water signs... Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's see. For the month of May. What's going on with you guys? Okay. Transformation and change. So a lot of change coming in for my water signs. Okay. I feel like you're ready to take off. You're ready to embark on something new. You're ready to fly to new horizons. You're stepping into the sun. I do feel like many of you have been in this dark energy. And you're finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Wow, so for a lot of you, you're going to be feeling very good about yourselves, okay? You're going to be loving yourself, pampering yourselves, taking care of yourselves, putting your needs first above anybody else's. We have crystal soul for a lot of you. I'm getting Pisces energy. I want to say Pisces. For a lot of you, you're going to be working with crystals, okay? With a lot of crystals. I feel like you're going to be very connected to them and you're going to be receiving a lot of healing energy from crystals. But I also feel like you're going to be feeling very grounded. If you want any crystals for self-love, I would really recommend uh, pink quartz or peach agate. 
and then we have jocelyn she who persists so i feel like for you guys in the month of may you're gaining a different perspective in something okay you're looking at something from a different angle and i feel for a lot of you you're you're becoming like rebels this person is wearing like a leather jacket so you're defying something you're going on your own path you're doing your own thing you're choosing yourself and I see you persevering here. Yeah, Eight of Wands. There's a lot going on for you guys. Fast movement, okay? A lot of messaging, a lot of people contacting you, a lot of communication, okay? For a lot of you, maybe even travel for the month of May. I'm hearing just a lot of communication, for the seven of wands here, I do feel like for a lot of you, like I said, you get this, there's this energy of like, I can't see. There was something you couldn't see before. And I feel like now you're seeing the light. Now you're seeing the way out of something and you're like, okay, this is my chance. I'm going there. Like you're moving the speed of light I'm hearing for some of you here. For a lot of you, you're making a stand in something. Like I said, you know, you're being defiant. You're standing up for something. But I feel like this is for yourself. On something that you want to do. I feel like you might be like, okay, yeah, you might not agree with me. And that's okay. I'm going on my own. And this could be in regards to your job, to your craft, to your work, to your service, to your diet. Okay. To some type of uh, daily routine. For a lot of you, are embarking on new skills, doing new skills, taking up on new skills. There's going to be a lot of demands when it comes to your 9 to 5, like your daily routine. You're changing your method, your approach on something here. And I'm hearing I'm not backing down. Pluto, yeah, major transformation major renewal here and for a lot of you this is on your routine on your health on your day-to-day -day, or on some type of service for a lot of you, you might be launching something with the eight of wands i feel like you're gonna be okay okay you're gonna be okay because with the seven of wands usually means you have the upper hand yeah I feel like as long as you're following your heart, you're going to be fine. For a lot of you, you're hearing communication from a water sign or an, or an um, fire sign here. You will be going through a lot of cleansing as well, especially with Pluto transformation twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be freeing yourself. From destructive patterns, impulses, people, certain diets, certain um, routines that are not serving you anymore. You're letting them go. And because you're doing that in the month of May, if you have already been doing that, it's kind of like you're taking flight. And I feel like whatever this is that you're exercising out of your life, it wasn't easy to do. Yeah, it wasn't easy to do. It really took some work. But it's going to bring in major transformation for you guys. I see a lot of news, a lot of a lot of communication. I'm just hearing communication, networking coming in for you guys as well. And you have the alchemist. Yeah, I see you guys creating something. You're you're co-creating something with the universe in the month of May. You are the alchemist in the month of May. Yeah, I'm hearing like you're following your inner compass. You're following your authenticity. Yeah, because I'm hearing you you are being honest with yourself about where you are on your path. And so because of that, you're acting and you're taking the appropriate actions. I'm kind of getting this of like I was in an illusion and I just woke up. It's like I was I just woke up. They took the glasses off the rose colored glasses. 
Yeah, it's kind of like you were obligated to. That's kind of what it feels like. Yeah, and because of that, you're following your your inner compass here. Yeah, I'm hearing because you did a lot of the soul work here. A lot of it. I feel like you're going to be working very hard with the sixth house here. You're going to be working. You're going to be putting in those hours. Some of you might be changing jobs as well. I feel like whatever this is, you're taking like a rebel energy approach in the month of May. And whatever this is that you're standing up for is going to lead to positive change in your life. Yeah, for a lot of you, I feel like you've been enlightened in some way and you're getting out of this like hermit mode, if you will. And you're getting back out there. So that is what I have for you guys. I hope you have a beautiful month of May and now I'm going to move to my air signs. So for my air signs in the month of May, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Arising, Venus, or Jupiter. Let's see. Follow your dreams. Okay, so my air signs. <laughs> for a lot of you, you are thinking about someone or someone is longing for you or you're longing for someone in the month of May. I do feel like you're about to, you're coming to the edge in some aspect of your life. I feel for a lot of you, you're ready to follow your dreams. You're like ready to chase after that shooting star. I see you decisive in something. I feel like you've been thinking about something. You've been thinking and thinking and thinking. And it's like, okay, May is go time. I'm going after this or I'm doing this. I see you being determined in something. I'm seeing the runes here. I'm seeing the rune of Gibo, which is a gift. Okay. Some of you might be developing your gifts. For some of you, you might be, the sp spirit ha might be gifting you things. Okay. Or you might be very blessed in the month of May. I'm seeing Petro as well. Petro, I, I believe that's what it's called, the P looking one. I don't remember at the top of my head what that rune means. So if you do, or if you want to look it up, feel free to do so. But Petro standing up in Gibo is the X one and the P looking one. Yeah, you're embarking on a new adventure here. Major change. Whatever this new adventure is, is going to bring a lot of change into your life. And I feel like that's why you've been thinking about it a lot. But I feel like you rolled the dice and you're moving forward. Yeah, I feel like you're very passionate about where you're going. You're wanting to try something new. Yoga. So for a lot of you, you are in alignment. Whatever this is, this adventure is in alignment with your path, with your dreams. For a lot of you, you will be maybe, you know, doing more yoga in the month of May. For some of you, you will be launching a yoga practice, okay? Or you will be teaching yoga. Or you may be, you know, um, embarking on a Reiki uh, practice. Or you're becoming a Reiki practitioner. Or you're putting, you're finally like launching your, your course, She who loved ones, fragile, secret love, rejection. So for a lot of you, again, there's a sense here of like longing for someone, right? For a lot of you, you're holding a relationship in secret, not for all of you. 
but I'm also getting whatever it is that you're going after. It has been kind of like you've been holding these cards close to your chest. You haven't revealed this information to anybody. It's kind of the energy that I'm getting. For a lot of you, I feel like you you were, you didn't want to launch this or you didn't want to pursue this because it feels like you you feared a sense of rejection. But what I'm getting here is from spirit is that it's in complete an alignment with your path and you should embark on this change or on this adventure. Five of Pentacles, so five, five, five. You might be seeing a lot of fives. Whatever this is, it feels like also you feel like you're lacking resources, okay? This is a lack mentality. So for a lot of you air signs, you have to be careful in the month of May to not get in this energy of I don't have enough, you know, uh, this energy of I don't have the resources. How can I make this happen? Spirit is saying, if you want to make something happen, they're ready to back you up. It's just a matter of you being like, okay, taking the step. Kind of like the full energy here. Knight of Pentacles. Yes, making small steps, concrete steps. Yeah, I feel like this has been you. You've been contemplating something. The Knight of Pentacles is someone who contemplates a lot. It's the slowest moving knight, right? But again, he is the only knight that accomplishes what he sets his mind to. But he does like to be, he works slow. And I feel like for a lot of you, you've been working on this for quite a while. And I feel like you've been tiptoeing, tiptoeing, okay? And I feel like spirit has been leaving you signs here and there, here and, here and there about you taking the steps, Whatever this is, I do see solid, stable income coming in with the Knight of Pentacles. If you're waiting for someone to come into your life, okay, you're longing for someone. I feel like this person moves slow, very, very slow. They take their time, okay? They don't, they don't chase after anyone. They're just very slow, but they're loyal, okay? They do have, you know, like not fluctuating feelings. These are real feelings, plan i feel like in the month of may you need to plan your resources your financial situation yeah there's something that you're seeking here for my air signs okay you're going on like a spiritual quest you're taking a chance on something for some of you, you might be traveling but again adventure you got adventure twice. You guys are embarking on a new adventure, but I do see that you're hesitant. So you're moving slow. But I feel like Spirit is saying, take the risk. Okay, take the risk because this is definitely in alignment with your spirituality, with your beliefs. It's a matter of faith. Okay, because I do feel like this doesn't feel very promising right now, but I feel like in the long run, it's going to take you exactly where you're meant to be. Iron healing. So for a lot of you, you are expanding your knowledge about healing, okay? For a lot of you, you are healing this lack of consciousness of like, I'm not enough, or you feel ashamed, or you don't want to be seen, or you're afraid of rejection, or you doubt yourself. And I feel like you're letting this go. And because you do, you're able to go and travel and seek that which you want your desires yeah for a lot of you you're becoming guides in some way okay so for a lot of you you're being asked to step into this leadership position to mentor others <clears throat> but i do feel like there is a lot of guidance out there for you in the month of may pay attention to the animals okay that are showing up for you I do feel like there will be financial gain, okay? Because we go from the Five of Pentacles to the Knight of Pentacles. Also, I'm getting, make sure that if you're doing something, if you're launching something, make sure you're not doing it all only for financial gain, but because it's something that, you know, some of you are stepping into like a teacher with the higher education here. Yeah, the seeker. You're seeking something. Something that you've been seeking just falls into your hand. <laughs> just like falls there. 
Okay. I feel like... But you have to take action, okay? I'm not saying, like, it's just going to come to you in the month of May. It's like something that you've been wanting. You're taking the steps, slow steps, because you're hesitant, right? But I do feel like once you take the step and you embark on this new adventure, that which you've been seeking just happens to fall on your hands. So be open to receive in the month of May. Yeah. A lot of expansion, a lot of growth with the ninth house here. Some of you might be thinking about expanding your education, higher education. Some of you are becoming gurus, I'm here. Some of you are healers as well. There's a lot of personal development here for you guys in the month of May. I feel like for a lot of you, you're also healing a lot that you've kept to yourself with the secret lover card there. Yeah, that is what I have for you guys. I hope you have a beautiful month of May. I wish you guys the best. Take care of yourselves. Bye.